Okay, domain and range. Domain and range is one of the important items we learn in high school. We use it in every grade in high school. So let's see very briefly domain and range. Okay, domain. When we say domain, domain is always x coordinate. x coordinates or we say independent variable. So domain means the possible values of x coordinates or the possible values of independent independent variables. And range means possible values of y coordinates or dependent possible values of dependent variable so in the main range we can find them from a graph from an equation so let's see first from a graph from a graph let's say this is my straight line this is a line linear so for all linear equations for all linear equation domain is x belongs to all real numbers so except if it's a vertical line or horizontal line range is the same way y belongs to r if i have horizontal line this is fx this is y equal to 4 domain for this one will be x belongs to r But range is only 4. I can say y belongs to r such that y equal to 4. I have only one value of y. Or if it is a vertical line, this is x equal to 4. And domain is all real numbers but only x equal to 4 range would be all real numbers so these are for linear so all linear functions domain and range is all real numbers except if it's a vertical line or horizontal line if i have a graph F, this is y, this is x. If I have a parabola, if the vertex is at 5, let's say. So, domain is x goes forever this way and that way. Therefore, domain is all real numbers. Range. We have a minimum here. Whenever we have a minimum, the value of y will be every number greater than or equal to the minimum value. So for a parabola, I can have a minimum or a maximum. So range in this case will be all real numbers such that y is greater than or equal to 5. The same way. If I have only a maximum, let's say this is 6. So, domain for a parabola is always x belongs to r. If the parabola is opening up or down, domain is always x belongs to r range 
range depends on maximum or minimum. In this case, we have the maximum value, therefore, range will be y belongs to r such that y is less than or equal to 6. Okay, so these are for graphing in a graph. So we have always the mean and range. So let's see from an equation. If I'm given an equation like a y equals 3x plus 1, we know this is a linear. As we said, a linear function domain is always all real numbers. So it's a linear, but it's not a vertical line, it's not a horizontal line. So whenever we ask for domain, we say, is there anything which tells me I cannot give x any value? No. Therefore, in this case, we have domain is x belongs to r. Exactly the same way. It's a linear, which is not a vertical line or horizontal line. And there is nothing which tells me I cannot give y a value. So range is always y belongs to r. y equal to x squared plus 5. This is a parabola opening up because x squared is positive. So we know that the vertex is 0, 5. So we have a minimum. If I have a minimum, the domain for a parabola opening up or down is always x belongs to r. But the range depends on the maximum or minimum. In this case, we have the minimum. Therefore, if I have a minimum, I say, y should not be less than that so it must be always greater than or equal to 5. y equal to square root of x minus 5. Now in this case whenever I have square root under square root, I cannot have a negative number as a whole. Therefore, what we say is x minus 5 inside the square root must be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to 5. I solve this one as if it is an equation. Therefore, my domain is all real numbers such that x is greater than or equal to 5. Range. For a range, for the square root this. Whenever I have square root, a radical here, it means positive square root. There is no negative here. So there is positive square root. So if x equal to 5, the y value can be 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. So range will be y belongs to r such that y is always greater than or equal to 0. If I have y equals minus square root of x minus 5, in this case the domain is the same as we have seen before, x belongs to r, x greater than or equal to 5, the range is the y value. The y value here it says minus, so it's a negative number. Or it can be 0 when x is 5. Therefore, range is y belongs to r such that y is less than or equal to 0. Okay, so now let's see. E, B, C, D, E, F, E, Y equals 2 over X minus 4. In this case, the denominator cannot be equal to 0. We said if the denominator is 0, it will be undefined. 
it will be a vertical asymptote we say so 2 over x minus 4 so my domain is x belongs to r such that x cannot be equal to 4 and range range this y value can be a positive number like if x is like 5 6 5.5 whatever it is or this can number not be negative if it's a number like less than 4 but can this number be 0 the only time we get 0 is if numerator is 0 the numerator can never be equal to 0 because it's already a constant therefore this value of y can never be equal to 0 so my range will be y belongs to r such that y cannot be equal to 0 let's see the last question for the main y equal to 3 over x minus 1 square so the main as we have seen the denominator cannot be equal to 0 therefore x belongs to r such that x cannot be equal to 1 range this number can be positive because 3 is positive the denominator is always positive because it's square so it's always positive can this number can this value of y be negative it can never be negative because numerator is positive denominator is always positive can this number be 0 it cannot be 0 because numerator is already a constant which is not 0 therefore y belongs to r such that y is always greater than 0 not equal to 0